this threat is not imminent. It is upon us. Cyber attacks against TV stations, food and fuel suppliers, hospitals, water systems. These hacks have been happening for a long time. Ransomware. Ransomware attacks. After a ransomware attack. Ransomware cyber attacks. Concern should be down. In spite of everything you did to prevent this occurrence. The attack paralyzed computer networks at hundreds of businesses in the United States and more than 1,000 of them across the globe. It just took an innocent staff member opening an email. It can be as simple as a link, an attachment. It really only takes one click. Downloading a PDF and trying to open that PDF. and then suddenly your bandwidth starts dropping in half. Your systems begin to lag. Users are reporting that your infrastructure is inaccessible. And then an ominous message starts appearing on display and the screens in the company. Attention, all your data has been encrypted. On it, a link to an onion site. On it, a demand of 250 Bitcoin to a clandestine address. You do the math, then you collapse. Down the computers either of an individual person or maybe the entire network of the company as well. Then they extort you, right, you know, to get that data back if you don't have a backup. And until you pay a ransom in Bitcoin or some other cryptocurrency, you can't use your computers. When you wake up, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do in case of a ransomware attack. In cybersecurity, this is called incident response. This is Moran. first thing to do in case of a ransomware attack is isolate infected PCs. Cut off all communication network. Make sure that your backups are already isolated. Cut off LAN, cut off intranet, cut off extranet, cut off the internet. Anything that is used to connect those systems together. The malware, the ransomware, will use it to propagate to other systems. Cut off that lifeline. Also, you will need to isolate the systems that are displaying a ransom note. Make sure they are not connected to any organization infrastructure and do not turn off the other computers. Just make sure that they are isolated. They are not connected on any network. The second step is scan all the remaining computers that do not show a ransom note. Identify if there are any malicious activity on it. Ensure you also scan your backups. They could have been compromised or in the process of getting compromised. That's when you take them back online, the process just continues. The third step would be to contact law enforcement and cybersecurity incident responders. Law enforcement is obvious. Who are cybersecurity incident responders? I'm talking companies like Mandian, CrowdStrike, Friend Micro, and if you're in the land of Gulags and Vodka, Kaspersky. What these companies do is they come in, they take over, and they start dealing with the incident themselves. This will mean performing forensic investigations on the compromised machines, trying to identify the ransomware, trying to find a way to decrypt the data for free without you having to pay the ransom, attempt to recover shadow files from compromised servers, unless advised to do so, do not attempt to restore backups from cloud or network access storage as this may have also been compromised and that would be reintroducing malware into the organization. Before restoring operations, ensure that the servers that are going to be restored are deep cleaned, wiped and even the firmware uninstalled and reinstalled again. This is because malware has been found to embed itself on firmware level and also when not fully deleted from a system that it had compromised earlier, some malware have been found to reinstall and reinfect the target. A good example is Revol. But again, I'll insist make sure you have contacted professional help before you wipe the servers. After all, what you will be doing is wiping evidence. And without that evidence, cybersecurity professionals cannot be able to triage the attack and the payload and know how you can mitigate yourself from future attacks. And now the bread and the butter. Should you pay the ransom? Well, the answer is not straightforward. Depending on what is on the line, in some cases it may be be advisable to just pay the ransom. If you're dealing with a double extortion or a triple extortion ransomware group, it is advisable to pay not to get the data released. Some of the people who may have this dilemma are people in healthcare. Their personal therapist notes cans of rest. This is not data you want to be released in public. You may have to pay for the data to not be made public. But 
the general advice is normally not to pay or engage the ransom group whatsoever since these ransom payments are their primary source of income whenever you decide to pay the ransom understand you are funding their campaigns their hacking campaigns and their lifestyle you are endangering other companies by exposing them to these attacks as new potential sources of income for the ransomware group it undermines law enforcement and works as a stay out of jail card and also you are funding other crimes like trafficking money laundering etc thanks for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe but also you probably are interested in ransomware group cyber security hacking and cyber crime you can watch this video where i tell you about alpha ransomware group or this one which i talk about lazarus till next time stay fresh i'll see you next time